Okay, so today we're going to start something new in maths and it's called Project Maths. Well, the first topic that we're going to start looking at is something that you might have worked on in primary school. And in primary school it was called chance. Now in here we've got a couple of different words that we might be using today. We're going to call it chance or uncertainty or a word called probability. My name is Hannah Hunter and I am the maths teacher for 1A. Today's class was the start of their introduction to probability from Project Maths. Can anybody give me an example of when knowing the chance of something happening that it would affect what we do? It's like the chances of a football match being won by one team or? Excellent, like excellent. That team has a good chance of beating that team. Brilliant, that is great. Anyone know anything about the likes of insurance? Where chance comes into insurance? Like car insurance? Why would I get a different quote to you? Driver. Why would my premium be lower? What do they think I'm less likely to do? Crash. I'm less likely to have an accident. We started by brainstorming basically where they'd ever heard chance before. I followed this up with giving them statements of different things, events, like um, for instance that Donegal will win the next All-Ireland or the sun rose this morning. Something very simple and I asked them to categorise them into certain not to happen certain to happen or the area of uncertainty. Can everybody see that there's three different categories involved in all those statements? Yeah. Now I'm going to pick one. I think I'm going to choose. I will roll a die and it will land on an even number. Okay, so if I start rolling a dice, right, I'm saying it will definitely land on an even number. Uncertain. It's uncertain. Why is it uncertain? Because there's a pile of numbers. Because there's a pile of numbers. Are they all even? No, what are the other ones? Odd. Odd, excellent. So I'm not certain that I will always get an even number. So In today's class we were talking about chances. We were stick things about if it's uh, certain not to happen, area of uncertain rate and certain to happen. We then followed that up with the fact that they came up with some of the statements around um, likely and a dead cert and unlikely certain impossible those kind of words everyone come up with at least one phrase that you've heard and we've used some of them throughout this morning for people to say about e uncertain things it might, happen. it might happen excellent what about the word likely it's likely it's going to rain tomorrow that's brilliant Dean 50 50 excellent 50 50 is brilliant word the final thing then was that I gave them a um, probability scale where we put numbers on it. We replaced the certain and the impossible with zero and one. And I had a program on the computer where we had a probability scale and we had different boxes with zero and one and impossible, certain, and I got them to place where they thought each of these lay on the probability scale. The probability of getting the heads when we toss a coin. 50-50. 50-50, excellent, good girl. My favourite part of the class was going on the computer because like you don't really know like you're learning like you think you're just playing on the computer and you are actually learning. didn't feel like hard work because you didn't have to do a lot of writing and you just got to enjoy that. The most important thing I learned today was what, how to um, put stuff in different uh, categories and all. I find they, expo they respond really well. They're used, very used to in the past where just sitting down and copying down from the board and opening up their book and doing out the exercises out of it and especially for this class the vast majority find it really difficult to follow instructions whereas with the act of learning they're more likely to listen when they're working in group work or on the computers or something different they, they find it more engaging. Mm -hmm.